That is ready to wrap. There we go, beautiful. Nice and quick, nice and simple. You'd never know there'd been anything there. What's going on guys? Now today we're gonna to be doing some more prep for the vinyl wrap. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you know that I've been really busy over the last few days and there's still so much more to do as well. As you can see at the minute, the rear bumper's off, the front bumper's off, some of the wheels are off. And there's just so much more that I need to do. I've got to get badges off, I've got to get trims off, I've got to get all sorts of stuff off so we can wrap the car. If you remember in the last video, we did some repair work on the rear bumper and now that's looking really good. It's really smooth and that is ready to wrap. There was also a lot of damage in this area of the front bumper, but that has now been fixed and now that's been painted as well. So that's ready to go back on the car. I've got the grills and the fog light surrounds and the splitter off and they're gonna stay off for the time being while we do the wrap and then we'll have to put those back on once the bumper is all sorted. I'll have to take the TRC side skirt extensions off as well, which luckily is gonna be nice and easy because I used riv nuts in the OEM skirt so I can literally just unscrew the side skirts. People are giving me a lot of grief about this saying, oh, why didn't you just self tap them in or glue them on or all sorts of stuff because you don't need them to be easy to remove. But for the wrap, I do. I've had some flat tires lately. So for that, I've needed to take the skirt off. People are saying, just slide a jack under there. It'll fit or drive up under some wood or all sorts of stuff. But honestly, this is so much easier. There's six screws underneath here that just need to be undone and that comes straight out. That's the perfect solution for me. So stop giving me grief about it. And then the rear spats, the diffuser with the fins on and the reflectors are all gonna have to come out of the rear bumper before we fit it back to the car so that the bumper can be wrapped. And I've also been doing a little bit of a rust repair on this rear arch because there was some really nasty bobbling in the paint underneath here where it was starting to rust. So I've treated that, sanded it all back and painted that so it's nice and smooth and that's ready to wrap over. Now the rust repair and the front bumper probably would have made quite interesting videos on their own, but I've been in such a rush to get all this stuff ready so that the car can be wrapped that I haven't had to time to do that. Plus you've seen me do a lot of bodywork and sanding and painting and things like that lately with the rear bumper and we've done that in the past as well so I'm not too disappointed about that but the reason that I'm in such a rush is because there is a deadline for when this car needs to be wrapped. Why is there a deadline and when the wrap needs to be done by? Well I'll let you know that at the end of this video but basically I've got this entire week booked off work and I've got Ash coming to help me and it's the only time we've really got to do it. And that's not the only reason, but like I said, I'll tell you at the end of the video. But to get the work kicked off for today, the first thing I need to do is remove the rear spats, the rear diffuser, and the reflectors from the rear bumper so it can go back on the car. The next thing I need to do is remove all these badges off the boot lid. So I'm gonna use a heat gun and a little plastic scraper and see if we can peel these off and then I'll clean up any leftover adhesive once they're off. Now to remove the adhesive from the boot lid, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna hold the sponge underneath it, stop anything dripping, but I'm just gonna soak this in some label remover just for a few minutes. Then after a few minutes, I'm just gonna come back in and pick off as much of the sort of foamy stuff as I can by hand. Then I'm gonna come back in with some more label remover and really work this in. Let's try and remove those last little bits of adhesive and then you can pretty much just scrape off the rest of the glue with just the front of your nail. And there we go. And then after a quick clean, and a polish with the T-cut,
you'd never know there'd been anything there. And after doing the same to the other side, that's all the badges done. Next, this boot handle's got to come off, and so as the manual lock. So I'm going to remove the boot trim. Remove the wiring connectors for the number plate lights. Unbolt the lock mechanism. Unclip the cable assembly. I take this locking piece here. Remove that. And then the lock can be removed. Then undo the nuts holding on the boot handle. And then the handle can be removed. Okay, so that's pretty much the back end of the car stripped. Obviously the lights have still got to come out on the third brake light, but I'll do that when I get to where this car's being wrapped because it's not being wrapped here. And also I've got to wash the car, so I've covered up all the little holes here and I've actually put the boot handle back in very loosely and the locking mechanism back in really loosely as well, just so no water gets inside the car when we wash it or if it rains, between now and when we actually wrap it. We're starting the wrap tomorrow, and tomorrow is Monday. This is Sunday I'm filming this, but anyway, for now, it's on to the next step. And the next step is to remove the side skirt extensions. There we go, nice and quick, nice and simple. And no blocks of wood required. Now that's gonna do it for the side for now. These side repeaters and the strips along the side of the doors are gonna to have to come off, but I'm gonna leave them on for now because I want them on there when we wash the car. So those will be removed later. So for now, I'm gonna refit the front bumper. Okay, that's the front bumper back on and the headlights back in, but that's about as much as I'm gonna do before we wash the car. Because obviously I need to take these washer jets out, I need to take the aerial out, and I think I mentioned it before about the side strips and everything else. It's all gonna come off, but I wanna wash the car first. So that's what I'm gonna do next. At this point, Ash, who's gonna be helping me with the wrap, turned up, and he also helped me with washing the car and decontaminating the paintwork. But shortly after we started, we realized that we still had these strips on the roof that needed to be removed. So we used a heat gun to try and remove these, and to be fair, Ash got them off no problem. Beautiful. The channels where these were fitted were actually really dirty, so we had to give these a really good clean with a pressure washer. Then we moved on to rinsing the car down. Now, one thing I will mention is that I didn't use normal snow foam for this. I actually just used dish soap because in Chris Fix's video, he does a super clean of his paintwork. That's what he says to use to remove any old waxes or sealants because I sealed this car about a month ago. So we carried on with washing the car using the two bucket method, obviously, because so many people gave me grief about that last time. But then we, once we rinsed the car off again, it was time for a clay bar just to get any loose contaminants or any little bits of tar or bugs or anything else or overspray from when I was painting for that matter off the paintwork so that we can wrap to a nice, clean, smooth surface. Right, okay, it's a bit of a strange cut, but it's now Monday morning and the wrap starts today. We've got up early, we've rewashed the car. The car is now in Ash's dad's unit. Thanks, Kev. And we are ready to begin. And I told you at the start of this video that I would let you know why we're in such a rush to get this done. So this coming Sunday is Ford Fair at Silverstone and this car is gonna be on the stand with Ford Mania. But obviously it's not gonna be black anymore. We are wrapping this car, the wrap starts today. So you're not looking out for a black car, you are gonna be looking out for a different color. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. If you keep an eye on my Instagram, we will be posting updates, but we're not gonna show you the color on there either. You're gonna to have to wait until it's finished. But I have ordered a set of custom show plates, which I will drop a picture of those in front of this video right now so you can see what you're looking out for if you wanna come and see this car at Ford Fair and that is where we're going to be on Sunday. So we've got a lot of work to do and we are going to get on with prepping this car, the final stages of the prep for the wrap. But for this video, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.